Okay, this one's on perpetual energy device number four. You've uh, heard of solar power. Well, I asked the question, is it possible if you can use heat to create energy? And that's not quite in the frame. Is it? Yeah, okay, there we go. Then is it possible to use cold? And the answer is yes. You have a range of temperature. Let's say we start with 80 degrees down here. And regular average temperature in the atmosphere, or in our environment rather, around us. And solar panels uh, superheat. So we'll just use hypothetically they, they heat up to 120 degrees or something like that. Well, it's the temperature differential in between uh, here and here that's used to make electricity. Temperature differential. That is what is used to make the electricity. Well, is it possible to use cold? And it turns out it is. You got another range starting at 80 degrees, but instead of going up, we go down 40 degrees. At one end of a medium is regular room temperature. The other end is is a cool temperature down to 40 degrees, and in between there, you got a temperature differential that can be used to create electricity. Now that can look like something like this. You got a wall here. Let's say this wall is the space shuttle. You got this medium going from inside the space shuttle to outside the space shuttle. And in between here and here, you got a temperature differential. Mm -hmm. Say, oh, I don't know, inside the space shuttle they like it at 80 degrees, and outside it's like, you know, minus 20 degrees which is uh, probably not even as cold as what it really is out in space, but you get the idea. It's colder than this. Between the two ends of the medium, that temperature differential can be used to create electricity. But there's another place besides the wall of the space shuttle that uh, through which, you know, on one side, this would be like inside, this would be like, you know, outside, inside, outside, the wall of your home. Let's say it's 80 degrees inside your home and outside it's, oh, I don't know, doesn't matter because how often is the temperature outside your house the same as the temperature inside your house? Well, the difference from here to here can be used to create electricity temperature differential again which is terribly written but you get what I'm trying to say it's temperature inside your house through the wall is a medium that goes to the outside and the temperature is being different at each end the difference in between can be used to create electricity because that's exactly how they do it with solar energy you see so that's the idea we just need a medium running I don't know what form it would take exactly what the experts would know and uh, so you have a medium on the outside of the house, somehow connected to the inside of the house. This is just to illustrate the concept. This is just merely, you know, representation of a concept. That's what this little bar-looking thing represents. So anyway, and since you, you know, the temperature outside your house <laughs> in a 24-hour period, when it, when is it uh, ever exactly the same temperature as inside your house? You're going to have this temperature differential pretty much for the most part, uh, just about 24 hours a day. Because the temperature outside, the, the, the weather's always changing from morning until night and then back to morning again, it's constantly changing outside the house. So the inside temperature's hardly ever going to match outside temperatures. The potential of this is 24-7 every single day. You have about, twi about 24 hours uh, worth of electricity that could possibly be generated every single day. Maybe a little bit less than that, but you get the idea.